Hi and welcome, my name is Paul Wilson from Open Reality and this tech brief is on the application performance analyzer market. So first of all, what is APA? What is application performance analyzer? Well, in essence it's the ability to understand the performance of applications versus network within a business. This can be broken up into two different areas. It can be broken up into granular real-time level of analysis or also long-term reporting. So what happens if I choose to ignore the problem? Well, the network is always blamed first. And it's up to network staff to prove or disprove it's a network problem. This can lead to unnecessary delays in mean time to resolution and users carry on blaming the IT department for lack of application performance. In worst cases, the budget spend is caused by fear, uncertainty and doubt and the business ends up spending money without actually getting any benefits in performance. Network instruments are market leaders in network analytics and they provide multiple ways to solve this particular problem. They have solutions that will capture all network traffic giving you the ability to rewind to a moment in time when a problem occurred. All you need is the IP address of the user, the application that they were accessing and you can delve down and understand in granular detail what exactly was going on, whether it was a client, server or network related problem. However, when you're not looking through individual problems, you might want to spend your time actually understanding what is happening from an application perspective. How are my applications performing? How are individual servers performing? And how is the network performing? So how can network instruments help me analyze application performance? Well, we can do it in two ways. We can do it at a very granular level, and we can do it from a much higher level perspective. So first of all, let me show you the granular level perspective. I've already done a packet capture, but the concept of Observer is we can capture live flows going to a particular service, and then analyze them and understand application performance by client, server and by network. And this is a good example of how a network is often blamed for problems but may not actually be the root cause of the issue. Uh, what we've got here is a packet capture uh, of some data. Now if I look at it by going into TCP events and I can see the, the client and I can see the server, I can see it sifts. From an overall element, observer is rating it as the conversation is okay as an average. And I can look at the packets from the client, the server and the bytes from the client and the server. But what, where it starts to get really interesting is where I start breaking into response time from the client, which averages 20 milliseconds, and from the server where it averages 16 milliseconds. An average network latency across that transaction is 1.4 milliseconds, and there are eight retransmissions, so not a huge quantity. But I know that the user is complaining about this level of performance, and I want to analyze this in more detail. So what can I do? Well, I can simply right click on this and do connection dynamics. And what, this, what Observer does for us here is break out the connection for us on, on client server with a timeline in the middle. And I can see here at the beginning of the conversation a SYN, SYN, ACK, ACK, all dealt with in just over one microsecond. And then I start to see the application kick in. So here's the initial SIFS request. And then straight away I've got an acknowledgement. And instantly I get to see the problem. 14.4 seconds later, I, re I received the first data packet. So already, I'm starting to see huge gaps of server-side processing. So I want to understand how often is that happening, because there's obviously 5,000 packets in here, so there's a lot to go through. So Observer gives me the ability to right-click, and an option here called Start Find Packet. What I'm going to do here is search for gaps bigger than 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds from the server and see just how frequently this occurs. So if I search down, there's another two second gap waiting for data. So again, the acknowledgement is served really quickly and then a great big wait for a data packet. This one is 2.4 seconds, 4.2 seconds, 22.1 seconds for that particular packet, 29 seconds, so the problem is getting worse. Then back down to three and then probably my all-time record, 1 minute 59.9 seconds waiting for a packet. So we can see we can see here the acknowledgement is a continuation of data flow. We then have to wait 1, point, 1 minute 59. A data packet is issued. We instantly re-acknowledge it. And again, there's another 2 minute delay followed by another 15 second delay. So we can see that there are some serious problems associated with server-side processing on this box. But what it is doing is it's alleviating the network as the potential cause of the problem. However, no one wants to be using Observer to troubleshoot problems all day long on their network. The other end of application performance is long-term trending. How are my applications performing? How are my servers performing? What is my user experience like? 
And so that is where the application analyzer market really starts to take off and where network instruments have a really powerful offering for us. What I've done here is I've gone in and looked at a report for last week on Open Reality's network and we're trending three particular applications. We're, we're trending SIFs, uh, terminal services and MSRPC or exchange traffic. And we can see here by volume we had 40 gig of SIFs traffic, just a little under 10 gig of terminal services traffic and about 2 gig of MSRPC traffic last week. And what it's doing here is it's breaking down performance for me over time for that particular application. So as an application I can see that SIFs I'm doing really well with and I can see the quantity of data and the, the total amount of uh, observed connections. But what I might want to do then is understand in more detail uh, what servers make up this application that we're monitoring. So I can click on uh, SIFs SMB here and, uh, and drill down more into application performance by server. So I can now see how my individual servers are, are getting on. And one of the main file and print servers here um, is 150.5 or its DNS name is Mammoth and I can see here on average the response time for this server is 7 milliseconds and each of the users on average are uh, getting a network experience of 74 milliseconds so that's pretty good most of those users are on LAN speed though so let's go and analyze again in more detail uh, exactly what's going on so I can click down here and I can now drill down uh, by server client application performance for this particular server so I can now see who's connected to it and what type of experience they were uh, experiencing so if I go into here I can now see all the different individual clients and what was going on at any given moment in time okay so what I can do I can analyze this in more detail I've had some complaints about some poor, poor terminal server performance and indeed yeah I can see here I've got some red uh, on the 18th of June I can go and click on here and just go in and do application performance by by server and sure enough yeah I've got some red but I've actually noticed the time period it's uh, between 10 o'clock at night and midnight which also is the same time that I'm running my backups on the network so when they're in business hours they're getting good performance but when they try to access the server at 11 o'clock in the evening they're getting awful performance but that obviously was down to the the backup kicking in. Lastly if I want a general feel of application performance versus network performance I can go back to the main screen again I can go and click on for example terminal services so here is my graph for response time versus network delay for week commencing June the 13th to June the 20th and as you can see the blue at the bottom here is our network delay average and the green is the response time of the server and you can see here that on occasions we're spiking as high as 11 milliseconds or 13 milliseconds but network response time barely consistently goes above a millisecond so we know in this instance that any delays are not down to the network, they'll be due down to the server but even 13 millisecond response time from the server is very good performance. We hope you found this video useful on application performance analyzers. For more information please contact our website www.openreality.co.uk